If you are looking to get liposuction done and want to know more about it, but you can't just seem to understand what's written on Google whenever you search for it, then this is the video for you. What are the different technologies involved, how it is done and whom it is recommended to and apart from that, what is the post-operative course like? These are the things that we are going to be talking about in this video. Hello, I am Dr. Arjun Handa, plastic surgeon and body contouring expert. So when we start about liposuction, let's talk about how long has it been there for. Liposuction has been there for about three decades now and it is being commonly performed all around the world. So during this time, the technology has continuously evolved. So to understand what are the technologies today, we have to understand a little about the evolution of liposuction over the years. So in the beginning, when liposuction was initially started, the devices were fairly very simple. To this day, the new devices are based upon those simple devices which were devised about 30 years back. So the devices essentially contained a hollow rod with holes at the end of it, which were connected to a suction machine. Now this hollow rod was inserted underneath the skin by small holes and the fat was aspirated out, that is sucked out. So these this is the basic infrastructure of a liposuction machine. Now the problem with this technology, this basic simple technology was that it caused a lot of surgeon fatigue and we could not do a lot of liposuction. We could not do, we could not remove a large amount of fat. Apart from that, it also caused a lot of trauma to the skin. So there was also always a chance of fat necrosis or skin damage. So to solve this problem, came the technology power assisted liposuction. The power assisted liposuction combined the basic simple device with a machine which vibrated the hollow rod or the cannula in a backward forward direction or in a circular motion. Different companies use different types of motion but the essentially the basic role of power assisted liposuction is to reduce the work of the surgeon. So instead of the surgeon himself cutting the fat by to and fro motion before it is sucked out, the power assisted machine does the work for him. So a large amount of fat can be removed. The downside is that the trauma is increased. So the next technology was ultrasound assisted liposuction. This was developed to overcome the problem of trauma to the blood vessels in underneath the skin. So in ultrasound assisted liposuction, instead of a cannula, a probe is used. What is the difference between a cannula and a probe? The probe is a solid metal rod, not a hollow metal rod, just like a cannula. And from the end of the probe, ultrasonic waves are emitted and these ultrasonic waves melt the fat before it is aspirated. So as they melt the fat, they leave the blood vessels behind and we can remove a large amount of fat with minimal trauma. Especially the most important feature is now we can aspirate the fat very close to the skin earlier. The aspiration of fat deep underneath the skin was deemed to be safe and as we moved superficial, it used to cause more trauma to the skin. With ultrasound assisted liposuction, now we can remove fat which is just underneath the skin. The biggest flaw with ultrasound assisted liposuction was a large amount of heat production. And because of this flaw, there was always a chance of skin getting burnt as we moved close to the skin to remove the fat. This is the reason why only expert body contouring surgeons were able to use ultrasound assisted liposuction. To overcome this problem where heat damages the skin, Vaser came. So what is Vaser? What is the difference between Vaser and traditional ultrasound assisted liposuction? So in Vaser, the solid metal probe, instead of emitting ultrasonic waves just from the tip of the probe, has grooves which emit ultrasonic waves from the sides as well. What this does is, it diffuses the energy instead of concentrating it at one point. Because of this, we can now remove a large amount of fat relatively safely without much heat production and the skin the damage to the skin and blood vessels is minimal. Vaser has now become the gold standard for high definition liposuction. It is the chisel in the hands of a body contouring surgeon who is shaping your body. He can finally remove the fat from very specific areas, giving you the high definition six pack ab look. Next comes laser assisted liposuction. Laser assisted liposuction uses light waves to melt the fat instead of ultrasonic waves. 
it is as good as Razer, but it has not become popular because the machine is too expensive, it is difficult to maintain and relates to increased cost for the surgeon which translates to increased cost for the patient with no additional benefit. Now you must understand that Vaser and Laser both, they produce some heat and they cause some tightening effect on the skin. So instead of just removing fat, like with suction assisted liposuction and power assisted liposuction, Vaser and Laser also cause tightening of the skin which improves stretch marks and gives even a better shape to the body. So these days, Vaser combination with PAL is the best combination for any patient going under high definition liposuction. Now there are other devices out there in the market which are have recently been launched which are radio frequency and plasma based devices. Now these devices have come for a relatively short period of time and long term results are yet to be evaluated before somebody can comment on them for sure. They are revolutionary devices in themselves but they will take time to establish themselves maybe 2 to 3 years after which every body contouring surgeon will readily accept them. Next we come to how exactly the surgery is performed. Now they, these are the technologies which are available but how is it exactly performed? So the steps of liposuction in description are very simple. It is the execution of these steps which makes the body. Meaning that if I were to talk about them in this video, they would be very simple to explain. But it is the actual execution of, this, of these steps which determine how good a body contouring surgeon is. So the first step is infiltration. So what does infiltration mean? A surgeon will insert a small probe in underneath your skin which then infiltrates a large amount of fluid. This fluid contains some local anesthetic and also some epinephrine to constrict the blood vessels and decrease the amount of blood loss occurring below the skin. After this infiltration fluid has been infiltrated comes the step of aspiration in traditional power assisted liposuction or suction assisted liposuction. So in aspiration, the fat is simply aspirated and that marks the end of your liposuction when enough fat has been aspirated and the end point has been achieved with respect to the body that you wanted to achieve. When we're using Vaser, there is an additional step between infiltration and aspiration. That is emulsification. Emulsification literally means melting of the fat prior to aspirations. So you have three steps, infiltration, emulsification and then aspiration. The end point is not determined by the amount of fat, it is always determined by the kind of body that the patient and the surgeon had discussed preoperatively. Once the body contouring surgeon feels that he has done justice and that he has done enough to ensure that the patient will get the body that they want, he will stop. It is not about the amount of fat. So this brings us to our next question, how much amount of fat can be removed? Safely, every plastic surgeon should recommend that about 5 to 6 liters of fat removal at one episode of liposuction is more than enough. Beyond that, it is relatively unsafe. It can be pushed to 7 to 8 liters, but beyond that is not recommended by any board of plastic surgeons. So the most important questions in the post-operative course is number one, when can I return to work? And number two, how much pain there will be? Both these questions are interrelated.